this still clearly illustrates the common mistakes which happen with bottom hand with beginner batters. As you can see on that photo, the bottom hand is bent, the face of the bat is pointing upwards, uh, the top hand is pointing again towards the corner or slightly bent, um, you know, up, um, upwards, and this results in the ball going up in the air and having no control over the top hand. Today we're going to be talking about the top hand and bottom hand in batting. Very important aspect of the game and there's a lot of confusion when we are trying to teach young cricketers as well as some advanced cricketers, especially the control of the bottom hand and the role of the top hand. So in today's video, I'm going to do a few drills which are very good for young uh, upcoming cricketers. This is a very, very important drill for beginner batters, in fact even advanced batters. In this drill, clearly as you can see that the batter has a block in front and it's only working on the top hand. Now that top hand control with the bat coming in a straight line and is an extending works magic for beginner cricketers. Number one, they choose and pick the right weight bats. Number two, they learn the extension of that top hand and that makes it so much more easier for them. So when they are playing a shot, they know how the top hand extends when the ball is being played. Ages of eight and almost 12, most kids or most young players, they find it easy to play this shot because this is an easier shot. It's a slog and it's an easier shot. Whenever, especially early ages, when they try to hit a drive, invariably what happens is, Two factors happen. When they try to hit that ball, their hands, their hips pivot and the hands come through like that and the balls are going up when they're hitting the ball. Uh, if the match you feed me a ball, this is a very common type of shot which happens with young batters. Most coaches then start to think about ways in which they can teach young players how to control that bottom hand. And it is not an easy thing because as much as I understand that this is my top hand control and this is my bottom hand control, with younger level, younger players, it's very, very difficult. So what we do is when we are teaching young, boy, young, young batters, my focus remains on the face of the bat. So I would, when a ball is coming to a batsman, I would encourage that batter to stay focused on the face of the bat pointing downwards. So my face is here. Now what I would say to all my students is when you hit the ball try and keep that bat face pointing towards the floor. What happens is because they have a target there and the target is to keep the face down automatically they learn that they have to push that top hand rather than when the when they push the bottom hand the face goes up so literally instead of us trying to go very advanced with some beginner creators i have seen that the results are unbelievable and straight away those boys who are playing long shots like that they can come back and start playing like that because of that one simple idea of telling them to keep the face down towards the ball include the top hand drill these all these these terminologies you know it sounds you know top hand bottom hand it sounds complex but it isn't it's all about repeating it's all about muscle memory and it's all about doing the right things more and more times on our videos as we go through in our next few weeks we'll do some advanced top hand drills and the idea here is that first of all I'm very very thankful to all our subscribers. As we stand today, we have 280 subscribers and more than 25,000 views. So that's in 40 days, guys. I'm really, really pleased about that. We already see a lot of people commenting. So if you go through, if you go at the end of the videos, uh, there, there's a place where you can put, put on your comments and let's start interacting. So we can exchange your thoughts, you can ask me some questions. And in that way, it'll only help your cricket uh, to get better. It will also give us an idea whether we are doing the right things and our information is going in the way we want this to be passed on to the next generation of cricketers.